and welcome to this brief tutorial video on migrating from Wonderware in SQL version 9.0 to Wonderware Historian version 2014 R2. This migration process involves three main steps. Step one is we're going to back up the runtime database on the old in SQL version 9.0 system. We're going to take special note of the IDAS and the storage location configurations. In step two, we're going to migrate that old runtime database to an intermediate historian. In this case, it's going to be Wonderware Historian version 2012 R2. And finally, in step three, we're going to migrate the database that we uh, migrated in step two to the current historian, which is 2014 R2. Again, taking special note of the IDAS and storage configurations. And then we're going to verify overall functionality. Now, as an optional step, after all three steps have been completed successfully, you can copy the old history blocks to the new historian. And now to the migration. To aid us in our migration process, we're going to use virtualization technology. Here I have virtualized all three systems that will be involved in the migration process. We're going to begin by opening up the old historian. Just open up a console. And we're going to open the system management console and verify functionality. Here we can see that we have all greens and the historian is functioning. We'll look, take a look at data acquisition and we can see here that we're pulling data from some data source called FS Gateway which is acting as an OPC client in this case talking to an, a Matricon OPC server. We come down to the configuration editor and we'll look at uh, the storage locations and verify that these storage locations will be also on the new historian. Once we've done that, we can close the uh, System Management Console and open up the SQL Server Management Studio. Once it opens up, let's simply log into the database uh, instance, or the database engine rather. We'll expand databases, locate the runtime database, and we're going to back it up. We'll make sure the backup type is full. Select add. I'm going to name it something that I could remember here. Uh, let's see, runtime underscore in SQL to reflect the version that I'm uh, working with. Dot BAK. Okay, once the backup is successful, we can exit out of uh, SQL Management Studio. And for now, we can close down the old version of the historian and move on to the intermediate system. We'll open up a console. The first thing that we're going to do is verify that the historian is shut down and disabled. As you can see here, it shut down and disabled, not just simply stopped. We can close down the uh, system management console and we'll open up SQL uh, Server Management Studio and log into our database engine. Let's locate the runtime database highlight it, right click on it, and let's do a restore.
we're going to restore from a device let's navigate to our backup directory first we need to copy the file from the old system and place it in the folder where we can find it on the new system and there's our file we've we select it and we're going to select our file um, in the in the dialog box here uh, come down to options and we're going to overwrite the existing database and we're going to say OK. Once the restoration is completed successfully we can we can exit out of uh, uh, SQL Management Studio and now we'll navigate to start all programs Wonderware common and we're going to select the configurator utility we're going to select our historian server and you'll note that the migrate database has already been selected for you under the historian TCP port if it's not already populated you can put in 32 five six eight for that TCP port number and select and click on configure and this will begin the migration process once the migration process has completed successfully you can click on close and now we can go back to SQL Management Studio, log into our database engine, let's locate our runtime database, right click on it, and this time let's back it up. I'm going to remove the old and add a new one place it in a location I could find it and this time I'm going to name it something uh, related to the new migrated database so runtime underscore historian 2012 r2 dot uh, don't forget the to include the dot bak extension select OK okay again and let's back it up once it's completed successfully let's go ahead and exit out of SQL management studio and we can close down the intermediate system now if you if you haven't done so already you can copy that file um, to your new system let's let's copy that new that the new backup to the new system so historian 2012r2 copy and I've already mapped the drive to my new historian and I'm gonna place that backup file inside of the a local backup directory on that system and let's go to the new historian open up a console and again we're going to verify that the historian has been shut down and disabled as you can see here it's shut down and disabled so we'll open up SQL uh, management studio SQL server management studio log into the database engine locate our runtime database right click on it and we're going to restore a database. We'll restore it from a device. Let's navigate to our backup directory. 
locate your file go ahead and select it and navigate navigate down to options and we're going to overwrite the existing database and click OK once that's completed successfully let's go ahead and exit out and let's go to start all programs navigate to Wonderware common configurator now it's okay to accept all of the defaults here all of the defaults are good to go and we're just simply going to click on configure Once the configurator has completed its work, we'll see that we have a green check mark here and we can close this dialog and open up System Management Console. Let's navigate to our historian. We see that it's starting. and the system is coming up slowly now you'll note that because we move from an old system the data acquisition is still pointing to the old system so we need to fix that by going to the configuration editor let's navigate down to data acquisition let's look at this IDAS and let's right click on it and select properties click modify acknowledge the warning message and let's put in the name of the local uh, system in my case it's called AC historian select apply and click OK let's head back up to status and one thing that we have to do um, before anything takes is we're going to right click and we're going to commit pending changes now once those changes have been committed the system uh, should uh, automatically switch to the new uh, local historian now at this point you may need to restart the historian Okay. In my case, I didn't have to restart it. It found it automatically and, and restarted automatically. So we're good to go there. Now let's take a look at data acquisition and verify functionality. We can see that the historian is connected uh, to our local uh, uh, instance of the FS Gateway OPC client and we are receiving tags. We can also verify that our storage locations uh, reflect uh, the the configuration that was from the original database and our status is good to go that concludes our brief tutorial video on migrating from Wonderware in SQL version 9.0 to Wonderware historian version 2014 R2 Thanks for watching.